Hi, I'm Charlotte Hashim, the Service Fitness Advisor, and I'm joined by Lucy Goodbin, the Service Fitness Apprentice, and this video is Circuits 2. It's more focused on firefighter specific drills, it's more resistance focused, so we have an equipment carry, we have the clean and press, we're stepping with weights, a ball roll out and carry back, which emulates you lifting and manoeuvring of the hose. We've got a lunge with rotation, which works deep into our core muscles as well, imagining we're taking things away from the midline of our body. We've got figure of eights too, so we're also emulating, lifting and manoeuvring some of the equipment away from the midline of our body. We're working on abdominal crunches and we've got the plank, so we're focusing on these deep core muscles. So before we begin, make sure you've got your trainers, comfortable gym clothing, make sure you've got some water and a towel handy. We've got 45 seconds on and then 30 seconds off and we've got two rounds. If at any point during that you feel that that's too much, just pause, take a slightly longer recovery, keep it active, keep your feet moving and just join back in when you're ready. We're going to get warmed up first. Okay, so we're going to start by getting warmed up. So we just start off by marching. Imagine you're being pulled up nice and tall. So we'll get ourselves set up right first. Draw the tummy muscles in. Just a mild engagement through there to protect your lower back. And try and maintain that throughout as well, through the exercise. It will really help protect into your lower back. We'll bring in some shoulder circles. And ideally, we recommend your warm up should be around five minutes long. Modify the time, increase it if you're in a cold environment. But you're just trying to focus on getting your joints and muscles ready for the exercise session. You're not trying to cause fatigue, just increase that circulation. Good, and bring in some bicep curls. Keep the shoulders back, standing tall. So we're just going to mobilise the joints. And as this particular circuit is very heavily focused on upper body, going to focus on warming up the upper body a little bit deeper today. So we'll have some wrist circles, switch direction. Good, and we're going to take it up overhead. Keep that core engaged, push. Keep the shoulders back. And reach. Good, two more. Last one, reach forward and pull back. So we're activating into the back. Good, squeeze, squeeze. And now the other way, push forward. Imagine you're resisting that. Create a little bit of tension with your body. Good. Back into shoulder circles. I'm gonna take it out and extend the arms all the way. Taking it back. Good, we've got two more. And pause here, we're gonna bring it slightly wider. We're gonna squat down and reach. Squat and reach. Good. Reach it up, squeeze the glutes as you come back up. Imagine you're sitting down onto a chair. So you're driving the hips backwards, keep that chest lifted. Don't go any deeper than if your heels come off the floor, if you can't keep that quality. Two, one, and now we're gonna reach down and come up. Reach down and up. Keep your eye line facing forward when you're coming back up. Two, one, back into a little jog. Okay, so Lucy and I have got some light weights. You can incorporate some light weights here too, so that we can continue to get the body ready for the resistance circuit. Okay, so we're gonna bring it to a bicep curl. We're gonna curl up, take the elbows out, and up into overhead press. Down, round, good, curl up. Keep the core engaged, so you're stabilizing your back and down, curl up, out, good, we've got two more here, last one, 
good bring it round turn your palms towards you keep your shoulders back and down and bring it into an upright row and down good keep the shoulders down keep your core engaged and row it up bring those elbows up and out to the side so we're just getting the shoulders ready for what we're going to be doing two one and we can pop the weights back down good bring yourself back into a jog and we're just going to do some step forward on the right and down keep your chest lifted and back in out on the left good push back up Keep it slow and controlled with these lunges. You can have one more each side. Good, and bring it back up into a jog. And we're ready to start with exercise one on the equipment carry. Equipment carry starts in 10 seconds. Select a weight that is suitable for you and shuttle walk between two points. Remember, keep your shoulders back, core engaged, and make sure you're using a weight that's suited to you. You don't need to rush yourself, just take it steady and make sure you're keeping that quality. Good, got five seconds. Next up we have a team of France. Three, two, one. 30 second recovery, keep your feet moving. The next exercise is the clean and press. To get yourself set up, your feet should be shoulder width apart. Push the hips backwards, bending at the knee to bend down and take the weight. Take a firm grip and with your core engaged and looking forward, push your hips forward to extend back up to standing. Keep the weight close to you and your elbows in as you continue to lift the weight up to your chest height. Then extend your arms into an overhead press. Okay, feet hip distance apart, bend at the knees. Take your weight, look forward, push your hips back, drive up through the body, keep that core engaged and extend overhead. Keep it slow and controlled. Keep the elbows in close. Good, keep going. Well done. Got 10 more seconds. Remember you can adjust your weight if you need to. And pause. 30 second recovery, keep your feet moving. The next exercise is stepping with weights. Select dumbbells or plates and set the step to the height that is suitable for you. Make sure you change your lead leg throughout the exercise and that you place your foot fully onto the step. Okay, step in round one. Make sure you've chosen a resistance that's right for you. You can do it without resistance if you prefer. And remember to switch on that lead leg. So perhaps every 10 steps, switch on your lead leg. Keep it going. If you want to add more resistance, you could always put a weighted backpack on too. As though you're wearing like a BA set. Good, and keep it going. We're in the last 10 seconds now. Good, two, one. 30 second recovery, keep your feet moving. The next exercise is ball roll out and carry back. Roll a medicine ball or a slam ball along the floor. Then to lift the weight, bend at the knees, 
pick up the weight and with a brisk walk carry back to the start. Make sure you keep your core engaged throughout the exercise. This is a really great functional exercise, so it emulates you rolling out the tiny of hose. You really want to engage your core when you're down. Stay as low as possible, but go at your own pace. No need to rush. Really focus on the quality. Pick it up and walk it back. Back down, rolling it to the other side. Keep it going. second recovery keep your feet moving coming up next is lunge with rotation step forward and lunge down ensuring your knee does not go over the line of your toe extend your arms whilst keeping your shoulders back and rotate over the forward leg return back to the center and then step back up turning your front toe in slightly will help with your balance keep the movement slow and controlled Taking into our lunge with a rotation. This is a great exercise for your full body, particularly focusing on your core muscles, your balance, and obviously working your legs. Really break down the move, so you're gonna step out, bend down, make sure your knee's not going over, and you're gonna twist over that front leg. Take it steady, really nice break. On the arms before we're gonna go into our figure of eights. Remember the breakdown of the movement, Keep it steady, really well done. Over that front bent leg. For three seconds. And pause. 30 second recovery, keep your feet moving. Coming up next is figure of eights. Using a weight, bending at the elbow and keeping your shoulders back, move through a figure of eight motion, keeping your hips still and your core engaged. For your weight, you could use a dumbbell, a medicine ball, a slam ball, or a weighted rucksack. So with these figure of eights, really focus on your quality of your technique. Keep your core engaged, pulling back in through those tummy muscles to help stabilize your back. Remember to switch directions and if you need to, you can make the movement a little bit smaller to modify the intensity. That's absolutely fine. Good. Keep going. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one. 30 second recovery, keep your feet moving. Coming up next, we're coming down onto the mat for abdominal crunches. Lying down on your back, bend your knees and place your feet hip distance apart. You can cross your hands across your chest or take your hands to your temples to make it slightly harder. We are focusing on our abdominal muscles, so we're curling up no more than 45 degrees. Keep the movement smooth and controlled. So we're coming into our first round of abdominal crunches. When you're setting up, you want to make sure your feet are planted and you've got your feet hip width apart. You really are just focusing on engaging those core muscles, so no higher than 45 degrees. Just a small movement, really focus on the quality. You can either have your hands crossed over your chest or at the side of your head, whatever is most comfortable for you. Really take your time nice and steady three two one 30 second recovery coming up next is the plank 
Lying on your front, place your elbows under your shoulders and your palms facing down with your hands shoulder width apart. Activate your abdominal muscles by lifting up through the core, coming up onto your knees and on your exhale, lift the knees off the floor into a full plank. Focus on breathing and keeping the core engagement throughout. Okay, keep that nice straight line through the body. Keep those hips down. Remember, if you want to, you can bring your knees down. You don't have to maintain this the whole way through. Keep that core engaged, pulling up through that waist. Good. This is the last exercise on the first round. And then you've got a minute recovery after this. Keep it going. We're nearly there. 10 more seconds. Good. Three, two, one. We now have a 60 second recovery before we start the second circuit. Keep your feet moving throughout the active recovery, get some water and we'll see you back for the second round. Remember those key points, shoulders back, core engaged. Try and make sure you're not lifting the weight up, it's just resting nicely against your thighs. You can also choose which grip you prefer. Five seconds left, keep it going. Three, two, one. 30 second recovery, keep your feet moving. Coming up next is the clean and press. Adjust your weight if you need to, to ensure you keep the technique correct throughout the exercise. Your feet should be shoulder width apart, push your hips backwards, keep your core engaged and keep the weight close as you lift it up to chest height. Then drive up into an overhead press. Okay, second round, bend the knees, look forward, and remember, choose your weight so that you can keep that quality right. Push those hips back as you come back up. And really focus on pulling that core in to protect your lower back. Well done, keep it going. We've got 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. 30 second recovery. Keep your feet moving to keep up that active recovery. The next exercise is stepping with weights. Select dumbbells or plates and set the step to a height that is suitable for you. Make sure you change your lead leg throughout the exercise and that you place your foot fully onto the step. Onto our second round of stepping. If you're getting a little tired now, it's the perfect time to focus on your technique. Remember switching up your lead leg. You can switch every 10 steps or so. Make sure you're fully planting your foot on that step and not slipping off the edge. Good, keep it going. Dig deep. 
Last 15 seconds we're in now. Final push, give it your all. Good, five seconds. Nearly there. Two, one. 30 second recovery, keep your feet moving. Coming up next is ball roll out and carry back. Roll a medicine ball or a slam ball along the floor, bend at the knees, pick up the weight and carry it back with a brisk walk. Off we go, second round, ball roll out, carry back, do what you can, keep that core engaged, make sure you've got that technique right through this functional exercise, good, and next up we've got lunge with rotation, bend those knees to pick the weight back up off the floor, keep it going. Well done, five more seconds, two, one. 30 second recovery, keep your feet moving. Coming up next is lunge with rotation. This should be a slow and controlled movement as you step forward, extend the arms out, rotate over the forward leg, return back in and then step back up. Keep your shoulders back and keep your core engaged throughout. into our lunge again with rotation we've just had the ball roll out with a carry back so this is going to be a nice break on your arms hopefully we enjoyed it nonetheless remember we could be getting tired we really want to break this movement down step it out bend down knees not going over twist onto that front bent leg really take your time focus on the quality We've got 10 seconds left. Keep it going, nearly there. Two, one. 30 second recovery, keep your feet moving. Coming up next is figure of eights. Using a medicine ball, slam ball, or a weighted rucksack, keep your hips still and your shoulders back as you rotate the weight through a figure of eight motion. Round two, a figure of eights. Again, really focus on that quality if you're starting to fatigue. This is a great exercise emulating some of the drills of firefighters, such as using the cutting equipment where they take them away from the midline of the body. Really focus on keeping that core engaged to help stabilize your back. And switch direction as well. Keep it going. Good, last 10 seconds. Dig deep. Two, one. 30 second recovery, keep your feet moving. Coming up next, we're down for our second round of abdominal crunches on the mat. Keep your feet flat on the mat and you're curling up no more than 45 degrees to really focus on those abdominal muscles. Last round of our ab curls, and then we've only got one more exercise of the plank before we're finished. Remember, feet planted, legs hip distance apart, really focusing on those core muscles. It's only a small movement. Keep it going, we're nearly there. Really focus on that engagement as you're coming up. Three, 
two, one. 30 second recovery and we're coming on to our final exercise, the plank. Focus on keeping your core activated throughout the exercise and keep breathing. If you need to throughout the exercise, come back down onto your knees, reset, reactivate your core and lift up and have another go. Good, keep that plank. Remember all the powers coming from the core, really lift up and out through that waist. Make sure your nose is pointing down towards the mat to keep that neutral alignment. Really focus on keeping breathing. This is your last exercise. You are done after this. You can cool down. Keep it going. Well done, nearly there. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, well done on those two rounds of this second circuit. We're gonna just bring ourselves down, pull ourselves down, take our time, bring in some shoulder circles. We're gonna let that heart rate come down and then we'll finish off with some post stretches. But you probably have found that that's been quite arm dominant. So obviously with the drills, and tasks of a firefighter. They're very demanding on the upper body and the core. Good, and bring it down just into that march. We're gonna slowly lower it down. Just some wrist circles. And switch the other way. And again, back into a shoulder roll. Just take a moment to kind of reflect on the session, anything you found particularly hard, anything you find that you could take the weight up on a little bit more, perhaps on the next time round. You've always got the option of taking the weight up on the first round and then lower it down on the second, as long as you focus on that technique. And if you can, if you've got a mirror or something you can see yourself especially on like the clean and press you can really see what your body's doing that you might not be able to feel good we're just going to tap forward tapping it forward so a little bit of coordination here and we're going to tap out to the side And tap back behind. You good? Really yeah, good. Yeah. Good. Good. Bring it back into a march. You should start to feel your heart rate coming down now. And we will stretch out the whole body. And we're going to pause. Good, I'll turn to the side so you can see. We're going to take a step back. Straight line through the body. Keep your shoulders back and you're stretching out that calf muscle on your back leg. And switch. Remember, as we've mentioned in the warm up as well, that any time if you need to pause it, then you need to take any longer recovery, that's absolutely fine. Just track it, write down what it is you've been doing. And then obviously each week you can see, or each session you can see that you're able to step up a little bit more. Bring your feet in together, bend your knees, take one foot out in front, keep it flat. Stretch up the back of this straight leg. Tip your pelvis back if you need to increase that stretch. And switch. Bring yourselves up and around, feet wide. 
Keep your chest lifted. We're stretching out the inner thigh. Coming up and over. Stretching out through the side. And all the way through. Just to the middle. Now bringing it up. Hold on to something here if you need to for your balance. Just stretching out the quad. Keep it nice and tall. Push your hips forward if you need a deeper stretch. And switch. Good. Take the right arm up to the sky. Support the belly, the muscle here, stretching out the tricep. Bring the arm around and over the body. Open out that shoulder. And take it up on the other side. And bring out that shoulder here. Good, bring your arms around in front. Open out your upper back. And around into your lower back, open out your chest. Reach up to the sky. Good, really good. Well done, Lucy. Give yourself a clap. Really good. We really hope you've enjoyed joining us for Circuit 2. I'm sure you'll agree that it's really functional. It's really specific to some of the firefighter drills that you'll start to prepare for. Hope you've enjoyed it. Carry on with the sessions and we'll see you on Circuit 3.